If music be the food of love, play on. Give me excessiveness that sufficingly appetite may sicken and so die. <laughs> and stray then, it had a dying fall. Oh, it came over my ear like the sweet sound of the breeze upon a bank of violence, stealing and giving odor. Notwithstanding thy capacity, receive it at the sea. For naught enter there, but what the divinity in pitch so air, but fall into abatement and low price, that even in a minute, so full of shapes is fancy, that it alone is high, fantastical. We go on, my lord. What care? The heart. <laughs> what so I do? The noblest that I have. For when my eyes did see Olivia first meet forth, she burst the air of pestilence. That instant I was turned into a heart, and my desires like fell. And cruel hounds ever since pursued me. How now? What news from her? So please, my lord, I might not be admitted, <coughs> but former handmaiden to return this tale. The element itself, till seven years' heat, shall not behold her face at ample view. But like a cloistress, she will veil it walk and water once a day, her chamber round with eye offending grime. All this to seize in a brother's dead love, which she would keep fresh and lasting in sad remembrance. Oh, she you have her heart of that fine frame to pay this debt of love but to a brother. But how will she love? When the rich golden shafts kill the flock of all affections else that live in her, when liver, brain, and heart, these sovereign thrones are all supplied and filled, her sweet perfections with one self kick away. Before me to sweet bed of flowers. For love thoughts lie rich when canopied with bowers. <laughs> 